Some people feel warmth when someone gets close. Others feel something entirely different. Tension, alertness, a quiet urge to pull away. And the reason lives deep inside the brain's emotional core, the amygdala. In neuroscience, the amygdala is not only a fear detector, it's a proximity scanner, shaped by early attachment and relational history. Studies show that individuals who grew up with inconsistent or unpredictable affection often develop an amygdala that reacts strongly not only to threat, but to closeness itself. Research from the NIH and other peer-reviewed studies has shown heightened amygdala activation when people with insecure attachment encounter intimacy or emotional cues. To a nervous system shaped by uncertainty, closeness is unfamiliar, and the unfamiliar feels unsafe. So when someone approaches with kindness or emotional presence, the amygdala may confuse connection with danger, firing faster, tightening the chest, speeding the heart. This isn't rejection, it's conditioning. The prefrontal cortex, the part of the brain responsible for interpreting context, tries to step in. This is safe, this is good. But old neural alarms speak louder and earlier. Over time, this can make affection overwhelming, eye contact intense, and vulnerability almost unbearably exposed. Yet here's the hope. The amygdala is plastic. With repeated experiences of consistent, gentle closeness, its alarms soften. Safety becomes recognizable. Intimacy stops feeling like danger and starts feeling like home. So if closeness feels uncomfortable, be patient with yourself. Your brain isn't resisting love. It's relearning it.